All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Open XCOM. Uh, we have, let's see what our our status is. We have our soldiery here, only three wounded, which is nice. Poor Adrian Shepard is going to be in hospital about 17 days. Uh, Rodrigo de Armas still has one more day to go. And Darth Daka will be out in about 12 days, uh, having learned exactly nothing because he never got to fire a shot. But that's okay, Darth Daka, it happens to us all. I believe we've already sold off everything we need to. Oh, no, we got a mine probe there we can sell. And everything else, all of this we're keeping, especially the heavy plasmas. We're definitely keeping those, but let's sell the mind probe. And we have, what transfers do we have coming in? It's been a couple days since I played, so I've forgotten. Gotcha, scientists, engineers, and large rockets. I am going to build another living quarters down there. Okay, let's see what the month of February has in store for XCOM. It's got some large rockets in store. Excellent. I love large rockets. They're my favorite. Okay, so we've got UFO 6. This number, incidentally, tells you how many UFOs there have been in the game total, not how many you've detected, so I think I've missed a couple. Let's launch Interceptor 1. Go get him, Tiger. And uh, let's follow him, see if he sets down. If... You have to get uh, something called Illyrium, which is the fuel that UFOs use, and you can only get it from landed UFOs. If you shoot down a UFO, there's a very, very high chance that all of the engines will explode when the UFO hits the ground. And then, of course, you don't get any of the Illyrium. And Illyrium is super, super valuable, so it is much more valuable to uh, fight landed UFOs if you can, as opposed to ones that you shoot down. If he doesn't land pretty soon, though... All right, I'm just going to shoot him down. Come on now. There you go. Nap time. So let's get the, the uh, set ready. Ooh, we've got our first med kit. Excellent. Maybe not everyone will die. We also have... We got some more large rockets. Let's have six. Are we fully crewed up? We are. However, I think it's time to uh, get some more rookies involved here. So let's leave Warhammer, Luke, Adipose, and Dartimus behind. And we will instead take Orsai, Africanus, Withersoul, and Piper. Just to, you know, spread the experience around a little bit. Alright, folks, let's go. Time for your bloodening. Alright, so Gretel is already equipped. GPC Garag is already equipped. Everyone who's already been here, basically, is already equipped. I would love to give Trip another rocket. Let's give Trip one more rocket. That'll slow him down just a little bit, but more more rockets are always better. Civid, you have very little weight. We're going to designate you the medical officer, so you've got the med kit, Civid, so try not to be shot. I'll try to remember that you have the med kit. Orsai has 37 strength and 52 accuracy. Who has... A better strength accuracy combination. Nobody. Okay, Orsai. You are the autocannon man. Orsai, Orsai, he's our man. If he can't autocannon, no one can. Uh yeah, that's all you get. That's all you get. Africanus, you're going to be a standard rifleman. We are also going to need to hand out electro flares like candy. Because, uh, without Electro Flares, we are doomed. Since this is, of course, a night mission. Piper, you get two Electro Flares. Gretel gets an Electro Flare. Everybody gets an Electro Flare. Just handing them out early, so that we don't have to bother picking them up. Uh, Civid also gets an Electro Flare. Maslog gets an Electro Flare. Drunet gets an Electro Flare. Orsai gets an Electro Flare. And then let's swap back around. Gretel Ostrich actually should probably have the smoke bomb in her hand, because I think she'll be near the entrance. Okay, let's get the tank rolling. Anything? Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? So we set down right next to the UFO. Let's go off in this direction. How big is this UFO? Is this a very small UFO, or a regular kind of small UFO? Or Let's prime that grenade walk up and drop it at the base of the ramp. Then you 
Why don't you throw your light over there? Okay, so it's one of the small round ones. So we're gonna drive the tank right over to sit in front of the door and draw fire. Because that's what tanks are good for. You two both crouch. Trip fields, move up here. Try to throw your light like way over there. Okay, that's the edge of the map. So we are going to be pretty, pretty easy to flank. Uh, everyone else just take your two steps forward and hang tight. It doesn't look like the aliens are set up in ambush around the Sky Ranger for once, but I won't count on that. Okay, so somebody shot at the tank from over here. I think from that building? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Let's get the tank rolling. Actually, what I would kind of like to do is I would kind of like to blow up this fence and then park the tank directly in front of the UFO door, because that prevents anyone who's inside the UFO from coming out. So, yeah, let's do that. So now if anyone tries to come out of the UFO, they'll have to open the door, they'll run face first into the tank, and they will have to blow up the tank before they can get anywhere. Okay, you throw that over there. Yeah, there's an alien in that building on the on the second floor. You can see because they shot a hole in the roof. Uh, why they shot a hole in the roof? Don't quite know, but they did it. It's a thing they did. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to make room for everybody else to disembark. GPC Garag. Get down here. Alleys like this are nice, except that they render you horribly, horribly vulnerable to someone shooting straight down the alley. So just, uh, why don't you just sit there and hope? Trip. Good old Trip Fields. You are going to open me a can of Alien. Well, if there was an alien on the second floor here, I think he'll be pretty exposed now. So, Civid, you are the medical officer, as we mentioned. How much strength do you have? 30? You have decent strength. See if you can get a, uh, a flare right up there. Okay. Yeah, because we blew up a significant fraction of the floor. So if an alien was there, I think he should be not happy, at least. And Civid, why don't you hide right there? Maslog, you throw your flare. Come on now. Get your flare out in this direction. Okay, lots and lots of hiding places on this map. Which isn't my very favorite. So that you get down here, throw a flare over in that direction. Yeah, there's lots of walls. Which on the one hand is nice because it means there aren't a whole lot of open sight lines for aliens to snipe us from like down here or up here but on the other hand means we have to kind of breach and clear the whole way around. Orsai. Orsai, Orsai, the friendly heavy weapons guy. I don't like that door. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it right at the moment. Except kneel or side down. I, at this point, I'm kind of expecting to lose somebody in this coming turn. I'm expecting that we're gonna, somebody's gonna take a pot shot at us and ace someone. But we'll see. Okay, he's taking a shot at the tank. Excellent. I love that. So there's two over there. There is one on the second floor, then there's one that just came out of the house. How beat up is the tank? Not badly. This is the nice thing about the tanks. They just have so much armor. So Maslog, move up. Okay, so there's one. There's two. Where's number two? Yeah, he's up there right at, the, right at the back. And they don't look like they have heavy, heavy weapons, which is nice. So Orsai, can you get a shot at him? You can, now that I've opened the wall. Come on, go again. There you go, direct hit. Excellent. Uh, looks like we did blow up our own flare, but that's alright, so one alien down. Now, Gretel Ostrich, you have pretty low firing accuracy. 
Still need to get rid of that alien. Uh, Maslog is kind of in the way, but I think he's used up all his TUs, so let's just fire an auto shot. And there we go, there were only two of them alive. Wow, we recovered seven corpses, though. We got lucky. There were seven aliens in there, we would have lost a couple, but five of them died in the crash. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, Rodrigo, you've been promoted to commander. You are now the overall commander of XCOM operations. Uh, from your hospital bed, I guess they were just so impressed with that one mission you went on uh, that they, they decided to make you the, the chief. Uh, clearly, nobody read the part of the report where it noted the two bodies that had, like, you know, rocket burns and shrapnel and things in them. Nobody really reads those things anyway, man, you know? It's it's just not a problem. Uh, Shepard's been promoted to Colonel, Luke Danger to Captain, and Orsai to Sergeant for his nice heavy weapon shooting. Good job with that auto cannon, Orsai. Let's go sell off some loot real quick. Uh, we've got more plasma pistols. I think we only really need, yeah, like that much of them. We're going to sell off the other mind probe and a whole bunch more sectoid corpses. A cool 700 large for effectively nothing. I'm going to keep researching these here alien alloys. And in the manufacturing department, uh, we are building more laser rifles. We don't really need more laser rifles, but... I think in terms of money made, they're more efficient than laser pistols. So let's stop production on the laser pistols. We will split up our engineers between med kits and laser rifles, and we will sell the laser rifles. Okay, production of med kits is complete. Excellent. We will now turn all of our engineers to churning out laser rifles for sale, which they can do at a rate of one every three hours. We're going to put all these six med kits on the Sky Ranger. Uh, no, you don't get one med kit each. And what else do we need? We've got... We need some more autocannon high explosive ammo because we are using that up. Anytime you use a clip at all, the whole clip counts as used up. So, have to keep that in mind. Let's get another eight there. Uh, another couple of large rockets just for fun. Uh, we can also use incendiary rockets as lighting sources at night. Sometimes that's really useful. Um, in terms of damage, fire really doesn't do much damage in this game, so I don't hardly bother with it. And let's get some more avalanche missiles while we're here. Okay, and the month of February is just passing by. Oh, we completed our alien containment. Excellent. And keep producing laser rifles. For sale, just sell, you know, like a million of them. Okay, UFO number seven. Let's go, Interceptor 1. Poor Interceptor 2, he never gets to do anything. It's all Interceptor 1 all the time. Okay, is he planning to set down? Are they going back to Scotland? No. Where are they going? Okay, they're doubling back. Aliens will often kind of wander like this randomly. I don't want another nighttime mission though, so I'm gonna shoot him down now. Had enough nighttime missions. Alright. Now let's equip the Sky Ranger. Uh, crew is still fine. Everybody is absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to keep cycling in the rookies. So we'll take James Archer and Merrick Kane on this run. And for gear, what do we need for gear? A couple more HE rounds. Already got the med kit, stun rods. Let's see if we can capture somebody this time, because we do actually have alien containment now. And daytime mission, yes. Okay, so Gretel Ostrich, same deal. Marek Kane, you have only 21 weight, only 31 reactions. Who has high reactions? Ah, James Archer, there we are. Uh, Mr. Archer, you have been promoted to close combat duty. That's your job now. Running up to aliens and being murdered by them. I mean, capturing them for study. Then, Civet has a med kit. Drunut is going to have a med kit. Uh, Wither Soul can have a med kit. Uh, James Archer cannot have a med kit. 
Piper can have a stun rod, actually. Because he has... Well, Piper has high accuracy. We want Piper in the back. Merrick Kane can... Oh, Merrick Kane can have a rifle. Sorry about that, dude. And a stun rod. And a med kit. Now, who's carrying the auto cannon for this mission? Let me see. Uh, I think Civet, actually, because he has the highest strength. He also has high reactions. I don't want somebody with high reactions carrying the auto cannon. So it might have to be uh, not James Archer. I think it's going to have to be Africanus. And he, unfortunately, is not strong enough to carry it very well, so he's just going to have, like, yeah, two clips. Then I still have four stun rods to hand out. James Archer's already got one. Gretel Ostrich can have one. Civid can have one. Who else? Everybody else is pretty close to weight. We will give Piper a med kit. Uh, and Gretel Ostrich, Garag. We'll give Garag a med kit as well. Okay. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna let James Archer have a laser rifle like the rest of the big boys because it's more accurate even with the penalty. All right, edge of the map there. Open fields over here, and a lovely little farmhouse. Here's the UFO. So this is one of the larger small UFOs. They're both called small, but one is bigger. And let's move down in this direction. Okay, so we've spotted our first alien. He is on overwatch above the Sky Ranger, just peering through his windows, creeping on us. I don't think there's a real easy way to kill him. So, Gretel, you know what to do. Get that smoke out there. Now everybody can just actually drop their Electro Flares because this is a daytime mission. Should have done that beforehand, but we'll do it now. Because I just don't need them. Nope, you move up. Drunet. Move up. Piper. You can drop that one too, actually. Oh, I keep clicking on just the wrong square. That is one of the things that annoys me about XCOM, how easy it is to click on the wrong square. Mark Kane and James Archer. Okay. Okay. Somebody's going in and out through UFO doors. So, there is, I know for a fact, an alien on this floor. So, we're just gonna do that. Just kind of break down the walls. Garag. Then can go out here and turn. So he must be in the back there, somewhere where I can't quite see. Shoot. Okay, well, hide up against the wall where he hopefully won't be able to see and shoot you, especially if you crouch. That's a little bit annoying. Um, It's possible he went downstairs, I guess. I No, it's not, really, because I, I should be able to see him if he'd... There are no stairs. Unless they're right here in the corner. Oh, they must be there in the corner. So, if they are, they've been detonated, which means there's no way down. But that's fine. Uh, Gretel Ostrich, move in this direction. Get ready. I'm really worried about that, uh, that alien sniper. I'm very, very concerned. We're gonna try to burn through the wall here. Brick walls are a little bit hard to burn through, but really laser rifles can do it. Trip, my buddy, my pal. You've got a 23 time unit snapshot. Uh, which you can't quite accomplish. Okay, just hide behind the wheels. I was hoping maybe I could get another rocket shot and clear something out, clear out more of the walls, but don't think that's going to happen. Could you get there? Yes. Okay. Wither Soul. Why don't you drop down right here? Take cover in that direction. If an alien walks around that corner, Wither Soul will be Horribly, horribly exposed, but we're just gonna kind of hope that doesn't happen. Piper, you got to get against the wall. 
the only hope these guys have is that we've blown up enough of the floor that the uh, the sniper can't get a clear shot at him. And Mark Kane can just kind of walk up here. Okay. Okay. Nothing terrible has happened yet. Which is... Up! Okay, there's an alien. Yep, standing there right in the door. So he fired an auto shot at me. In terms of time units, he's probably fairly low. Yeah, let's get him through the window. No line of fire? What do you mean, no line of fire? We blew up the wrong section of wall. Can you kneel down and get a shot through the window? You can. Thank you, Wither Soul. Now, Garag, just burn through this wall, please. Thank you. Okay, so the alien must have... The alien who was in the second story must have dropped down. Because I don't see him up here, and I don't see him in here either. What? What is... What is on fire, by the way? Oh, it's a bale of hay. Okay. Well, I'm destructive. We all knew that already. Keep rolling this way. Uh, that's another building we're going to have to shoot our way into. Hup! Hup! Oh. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a danger with XCOM. Very often, you don't see these guys. Alright, Civid. Um, is James Archer anywhere nearby with a stun rod. Civet actually has a stun rod, but he doesn't have the time units to use it, so we're just gonna have to shoot that guy. Okay. This building has definitely seen better days. Drunot, why don't you get up there? Piper, can you get into that corner? You can. Good. James Archer is gonna have to be the one to lead the charge into the alien UFO. He'll stand there behind that bale of hay for now. Mark Kane can come up here. Uh, Kane, you will actually be helping your friend Archer lead said charge. I'm sure you're grateful for the opportunity to prove your mettle. Gretel Ostrich. Uh, let's send you with them. You have pretty good reactions. So in close quarters, in a close quarters firefight, you may be able to help. So those three are going to be our forward deployment squad. Trip fields. Uh, yeah, get over here where your rocket can be of help clearing terrain. Actually, just crouch. Drunut, you don't need to do anything. Africanus. Get here and shelter behind the window a little bit. It's not much shelter, but it's some. Um... Okay, and the tank is down. So that's always good. We've got a minimum of another two aliens. So the tank was shot from over here. Excellent, we got him. Uh, where did we get him? There, he was just inside the, uh, he was just inside the wall. Great. Thank you, Trip. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, Civet, let's move down here. Since this is a small UFO, they're not I don't think they're going to have any of the really valuable aliens, but we'll try to we'll try to catch one. We'll try to catch one just because. It'll be good. It would be good to have some uh, alien interrogation to do. Africanus Get behind the stone wall over here. Wither Soul. You've basically been designated the scout. Okay, so there's a guy. James Archer, take an aimed shot, please. Good shot, James. Didn't know you had it in you. Hide behind the tall grass. Mark Kane. move up here. I don't know if there's aliens in that orchard, but I expect so. I expect aliens everywhere. 
That way I am never unpleasantly surprised. Merely grimly reassured of my own mortality. Or rather, the mortality of my soldiers. I mean, I'm back at base, just, you know, controlling things. It's all USAPs that are getting murdered. Okay, there's another one. Don't really have anyone in position to deal with him. Could I get Piper around? Uh, not effectively. Wither Soul. Take a... I could actually take an auto shot. Then I would not have much time to run. If it went badly. Uh, kneel down and take an auto shot. Good job, Wither Soul. We are just rocking and rolling so far, it means everything's about to go horribly wrong. I know what it means when things seem to be going XCOM's way. It means there's about to be fire and screams. I mean, of us, rather than the aliens. Okay. There's two more down there. James Archer. Uh, I think that shot was absorbed by the hay bale. So, thank the hay bale, James. It just saved your life. We need to find that sniper that's over there. Wither Soul. You don't have to be the one to get the kill shot here, but I need to get somebody else. I need to get Marek Kane facing in that direction. Damn, Wither Soul, and I had such high hopes when I saw that first shot hit. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. There we go. That's the way we like to do it. Alright, James. Uh, he must have ducked back around the corner. Oh, James can't quite duck back around the corner himself. Ooh. Can he? Can he get... He can get down there. Okay, that's a little bit of cover. At least he's sheltered by the corner. Marek Kane, just kneel. Hopefully you can get a shot if he comes around the corner... What did this guy have, incidentally? Oh, okay, uh, plasma rifle. Gretel Ostrich. Yeah, come down over that way. Get a little bit of cover. I do have to clear this building, because I can't confirm there are no aliens in here yet. So, I'm just gonna send Garag in. I haven't seen any movement from over here, which is a good sign, but it's not a guarantee by any means. Tripfield, Sivid, Drunut. Drunut, get down here. We've all got these blocks to clear still as well. So I know there's at least one alien hiding over here who is going to try and take pot shots at me, which means Wither Soul might, might, might be screwed. Might be. I'm not going to say for sure, but might be screwed. We're all going to get into the orchard here, where we have cover from that direction, and also pretty good cover from this direction. If they can't see you, they can't shoot you. Well, unless they're using blaster bombs or alien grenades. In which case, they can shoot you, even if they can't see you. Piper, 41 reactions. Let's see if you can maybe get a shot. Okay, James, be brave. Be brave, James. There he is. Little ways off. Let's get an auto shot. Oh! Right in the head. Good job, James. So we've taken care of that sniper. Sivid. What do your elf eyes see? Yeah, you just provide overwatch there for a moment. Drunet. Burn through that hedge. That was a little bit more enthusiastic burning than was strictly necessary, but we'll allow it. Crouch facing the wall so you don't have to see your death coming. This house, I think, is empty. But you can never be entirely sure. get the heavy weapons guys moving up.
Withersoul, I'm a little bit surprised that you're still alive, but grateful. I'm glad you're still alive. I like you, Withersoul. I think I'll keep you around. Piper. You have 41 reactions. You're over 50. You're 32. You are 47. So Piper, get over here and hide. Gretel Ostrich, provide overwatch in that direction. Mark Kane, I did not mean to click that button. And I don't think I've talked about these buttons. These buttons will let you automatically reserve time units. So for example, if you click that button, then your soldier will only move as far as he could move and still fire a snapshot. And he'll stop if you try to move him further than that. Or we can reserve, uh, we can expend all remaining time units to get us down to zero if for some reason we want to do that. Or we can reserve enough time units to kneel at the end of the turn. Let's get Mark Kane down this way. Help clear this orchard. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. My goodness, James Archer is. Okay, well, he just died. I mean, I would have expected him to die from three plasma shots directly to the sternum. So, you know, acceptable. Understandable. So, we've got another one up in that direction. Piper. I don't think it would have had... Uh, he, apparently he still had a whole bunch of time units. He fired at least one auto shot. I would have thought... Damn. Okay, Africanus. Take a snapshot right at his feet if you can. Like right there. That didn't accomplish what I needed. Alright, auto shot. Walk your fire. Come on now. Well, now we've got to kill him. Come on, Griddle. Come on. Okay, he's down, but he's not dead. That's still okay. Down is fine. Because he won't have any weapons when he wakes up. No, don't reserve time units for a snapshot. Keep moving. You filthy animals. Alright, so I didn't know the... I didn't know there was another one up there. I thought it was just the one. Okay, so that's two dead, plus the tank. Still not the worst mission I've ever had, but not great. Uh, Drew not just hold your horses for a moment. Wither Soul, come down here to provide potential covering fire. Marek Kane, uh, join the party in this direction. Please. Trip fields with your rocket launcher. I don't particularly want the rocket launcher in close quarters, but a laser pistol is pretty decent. Civid, keep staying right there for now. Okay, I think somebody's just walking in and out and in and out of a an internal UFO door. I was wrong. But fortunately, that guy has a small launcher, so he's not a lethal threat. I am a lethal threat, though. Drewnut is. Let's get Drewnut up there where he has cover from the door. Mark Kane still has low reactions, so let's move him up there where he can be prepared to rush the door without being seen. Uh, Wither Soul. Let's have Trip Fields come down to about here. Trip Fields has very high reactions, actually. I don't want him in line of sight of the door with that rocket launcher. That would be bad. Civid, crouch there. Drunet's fine. Africanus, let's... I didn't give you any armor-piercing rounds, so you're strictly high explosive. Let's have you come up this way to clear this side with Gretel... Actually, Gretel Ostrich needs to join the assault party. GPC Garag, you can head in that direction. Okay, you can help clear around the other side of the UFO. Okay, Mark, come right up here and kneel. If anyone comes through the door, you will at least have a chance of stunning them. Gretel Ostrich, move up to there. 
Drunut, move over there and crouch. Africanus, clear the side. Wither Soul, advance to cover. Garag, keep going up that way. Ah, that, that's a bad square. That's a bad square. I clicked the wrong place. Ah, uh, no. Trip. Prime that. Don't throw it, though. Okay, we're getting ready for the very most dangerous part of an XCOM mission, which is breaching an occupied UFO. It's very possible that what's going to happen here is an alien's going to step out, turn right, shoot Merrick Kane in the head, and step back in. The only way you can even try to stop that is with reaction fire. And it's highly, highly unreliable. Okay, Marek Kane lives. Let's get a prox grenade in Drunut's hand. It'll take 13 to throw, so stand up. Shoot. Won't be able to do it. Okay. Op open the door. No aliens in sight. That's worrisome, actually. Brittle Ostrich, move up here. Cived. Uh, I would like Wither Soul to clear out some of the... Can you... Oof. What I want is I would like to throw a Proxmanity inside. Eh, there's no point to it at this point. Druna, just leave. We've already pretty much breached. Uh, Cived, come over here. Drunut is fine. Africanus can continue to clear. Along with Garag. Oh, hello. Okay, good. Well, it's a good thing we noticed that. It's a good thing we got that done. Ugh. That was sheer blind, unadulterated luck. So we've already killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. There shouldn't be that many of them left. He's got a heavy plasma. I can't, I don't have enough time units to run up and stun him. So we're going to shoot him instead. And then walk back out. Uh, yeah, screw those guys. What we have to do, basically, is get set up with enough troops with reasonable reaction times that we can rush inside and set up a pattern of overwatch that will cover both doors, so that when, inevitably, one of the aliens steps through and tries to murder us, he'll be shot. Uh, Trip Fields has a primed prox grenade, so... What I kind of want to do is throw that grenade at one of the doors. There. So now that door will be blocked. If an alien steps through that door to try to come after us, they'll be exploded. So ideally, in the perfect world, we don't have to worry about that door anymore. Civet, get back here where you're not in anybody's direct line of fire. Mark Kane, come up here. Similarly, not in anybody's direct line of fire. Gretel Ostrich. Go to that side. Garag, guard on this side. Trip, you've already used up your prox grenade. Wither Soul, you have a prox grenade. But if you layer two prox grenades on top of each other, they blow each other up. So that prox grenade right there should cover all of these squares. Anybody who moves into one of those squares, or rather, anyone who moves out of one of those squares, technically, will explode. Okay. All right, get him. Bonsai. Oh, okay. 
Well, didn't think he had enough time units left for that. No line of fire? What do you mean, no line of fire? Siveed, you are the worst. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Alright, so we're down three. Wither Soul, get in there. Sometimes I think aliens can perceive proximity grenades. They're not supposed to be able to, but sometimes I think they can. Uh, Garag has low reactions. Who has high reactions? Trip fields. Trip fields, come around here, please. Aim at the door. Drunet, get ready to breach. Wither Soul, trip fields, okay. He's not looking at me. Stun him. Who is he? A sectoid engineer. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, apparently not the last person, though. So, Trip, walk up here. Where you can shoot anyone who comes through the door. Siveed. Come up here, where you can shoot anybody who shoots one of your buddies. And Wither Soul, come up there, where you can do the same. Okay, there's one of them left. We're just gonna stack up on each door as we go. They're not coming out. They're not passing through doors. Uh, it might actually be that this guy back here has just woken up. And is now wandering around somewhere. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Because there's no alien body here. Okay, so the UFO is probably clear. But now I need to find a random, confused, formerly stunned alien walking around with no weapons. We'll flush him out. I say that because if there was still an alien in this UFO, the door should be opening and closing. Come on. Yeah, no aliens left in here. We did get the, the power core intact, that's great. Uh, we can't go that way, there's a proximity grenade on the floor. So now we just have to find this guy who is somewhere. He shouldn't be hard to find. He must have gone into he must have gone into the orchard. That's the only place where there's like visual cover. Okay, well, this is going to be uh, probably some time. So hang on, I'll be back with you when we found the alien. Okay, we've found him. Wither Soul has found him, that is. We're just gonna shoot him down if we can. Apparently we can't. Uh, Drunet. Come down here, please. Shoot this guy. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, also, a little trick. Trip Fields. Not Trip Fields. Uh, Siveed has picked up an unconscious alien and stuffed him in his backpack. What this means is... We'll be able to immediately notice if this guy wakes up, because Siveed's time units won't be reduced by the extra weight. And, if the alien wakes up his first turn, he can't move anywhere, so Siveed can just turn around, see him on one of the squares surrounding, and stun him again. 
a good way of making sure you know where your alien prisoners are and where they're going and what they're trying to do. So, this little guy is just wandering around all lost and alone and naked and confused without weapons. So we'll try to head him off here and we'll get him next turn. Nope, he's going into the house. Nope, nope, he's uh, he's wandering without a clue. Actually, Druna, do you have a... You don't have a stun rod, so we can't even stun this dude. But we can walk up directly behind him and do him execution style. There we go. Okay, so 12 aliens killed, one live alien recovered, we lost three operatives and a tank. A little bit painful, a little bit financially hurtful, but we'll be okay. And after all, they were just rookies. Uh, we did lose a med kit, though. And of course, our poor, poor tank. Trip Fields, you're a sergeant now, and Orsai has been promoted to captain, despite not really doing anything, but Trip, you did good. I appreciate your contributions. Let's go back here and sell some more stuff, shall we? Uh, plasma rifles. A lot of plasma rifles, actually. You know what? I'll keep some of them. I'll keep, like, four plasma rifles and 12 clips for now. The plasma pistols, we're just going to sell off in their entirety, I think. Uh, this is this is what missions do for you. If you get a whole bunch of aliens and kill them all, the uh, the income is astronomical. Far greater than the income you get from the council. Uh, I want more heavy plasmas. They'll start showing up in greater numbers later on. But with that influx of funding, we have enough money to build our first new base. So in this base, obviously we have, you know, all of our soldiers and engineers and scientists and our Sky Ranger and Interceptor and all that. We're going to build a second base now. So that's Eurocom. We are going to build Americom down here in Florida where nobody will notice if we're fighting aliens because there's enough crazy shit down there. Americom. We're going to put the access lift way over here in the corner, uh, somewhere on this line, because basically if you put the access lift on this line, you can set the base up like we've set up Eurocom, where you have hangars up north, and then everything else down south, and only one access point between them, which makes them easy to defend. And we will build a living quarters, a hangar, um, a general stores, and a large radar system. We are actually going to have a three-wide corridor, uh, just because I'm impatient, to be honest. If this base is ever attacked, I will regret that decision. Really, you should just have it be two wide or even just one wide. Funnel everybody through the access lift. But I'm not too worried about it. It'll just make it more exciting, right? Right. Ah, we've completed research on alien alloys. Excellent. So alien craft are constructed from special alloys with unique properties. Extremely light and durable can be molded electromagnetically. This material can be reproduced and used in many kinds of manufacturing processes, which means we can now research armor. And armor will be super, super important. Uh, I'm going to hold off on interrogating the sectoid engineer until we finish with personal armor. I do need more scientists. 39 just is not enough. And we can now manufacture alien alloys, which I'm not going to do just yet. Uh, my living quarters will be done in a day. And the aliens are terrorizing Wellington. Okay. Um, I've been going for about 45 minutes at this point, so I'm actually not going to take a terror mission just now. We're going to center on the site. Oh, it'll be nighttime by the time we... Shoot. Okay, we're going to save and quit here, folks. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will get back to you in the next one. Bye-bye.